Well, for more, we're joined now by Arda Meblutolu, who's a defense analyst. He joins us live from London. Thanks so much uh, for talking to us. Now, first of all, why take the somewhat dramatic step of freezing any arms exports to Turkey right now? What does Germany think it achieves? Uh, I think uh, the reason is a combination of multiple factors. One reason would be high-level strategic or political uh, conflict between Turkey and Germany. The two countries have conflicting uh, interests in uh, various uh, geopolitical issues, uh, which is a very complex matter. Another reason uh, would be the upcoming elections in Germany. Uh, uh, Ms. Angela Merkel is known to uh, p uh, have been pursuing a policy uh, against Turkey, Turkey's ascension to EU, and, and on various uh, topics, uh, her policies uh, are in uh, conflict with uh, those of Turkey's. Uh, another uh, would be the strained uh, relations between Turkey and Germany, especially after the July 15th coup attempt. Uh, Turkey has been uh, has been uh, saying that, claiming that uh, Germany uh, has been uh, harboring several uh, FETO members or terrorist members as well as PKK members. So there are various uh, topics between Turkey and uh, as a result of the combination of these factors, uh, the political uh, climate or the political environment has become tense and uh, lately we have seen the result as an arms embargo by German side. Okay, and Turkey of course says this will hurt their common fight against terrorism, particularly Daesh and, and PKK. Will it and, and if so, how? Uh, that is true, yes. Uh, it will hamper uh, the joint efforts against Daesh and other terrorist organizations. It will uh, first and foremost uh, hamper or damage uh, the, uh, the, the spirit of cooperation, mutual cooperation. Uh, besides all the equipment and uh, technology which are subject to the embargo, uh, this decision uh, will uh, inflict serious damage to the spirit of mutual cooperation uh, which is needed uh, to fight against terrorism. Okay. Arda Meblutolu, we will leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us with your analysis live from London.